in today's video, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we are doing another fast, fast video. You say, Tony, what's that mean? You're just gonna do cut and dry real quick, button it up, throw it out, done with it? No. What we're gonna do today is see if this car here will hit the 175 mark that it says on the speedometer. And if it doesn't hit 175, you get the car for free. Okay, I just made all that up. However, what we should know is that these cars are considered 170 to 180 mile an hour cars because they're powerful, they're fast, and they are world class handling. If you've never owned a Porsche, man, I didn't understand Porsche back in the day. I just didn't, right? I thought it was a polished Volkswagen Beetle. How wrong was I? They are amazing. They're handcrafted, they're built to, to last, and they're really, as we look at these cars, the suspension and the, and, the chassis and all of those things are very different for each model. This is the S model, so you're getting a sport chassis, not just sport for S. You don't just get a sticker, right? This is a very different car than a standard 911. We're gonna walk around, look at some of the differences of that, see what we got, see what kind of quality we have. We'll see the low miles. We'll see all the options that are on it. And by the time we're done, hopefully you'll find a way to get this in your garage. All right, so factory paint on this car has been metered for authenticity, which is the way you want to buy a car. Plus, we're going to look around and see all the decals that are still there underneath the hood and around those areas there that show us that these are the original panels on the car. This is Arctic Silver. It's an extra cost color. This car, it's a 2005. We're doing the video in 2023. is approaching 20 years old. 20 years old, right? And uh, with just a little over 30,000 miles on it, we're talking, you know, in the 1,500 to 1,800 mile a year range. That's why you buy these cars because they're low mileage, they're significantly less expensive than a brand new one. A brand new car just like this today, a new one if you priced it, it's around the 140 mark to 150 mark depending on the same kind of options. That's why these are such a great deal. The paint on this car is fabulous. It's had a clear bra on it for a long time. We took the old one off, right? And now you can see why it's so good looking here because it was so well protected. All right, so you hear the term daily driver exotic, and like, what does that really mean? Well, a car that you can take to the track that day and then go away for the weekend somewhere is exactly what that means. And some cars are nicer than others, and here's what I mean by that. For instance, you see this decal on the side. This is a VIN decal. You can't buy that decal. It comes from the factory, installed on the panel. It shows it that this is the original hood on the car. If this car was in an accident and the hood had been replaced, right, uh, that wouldn't be there any longer. Sometimes we also say, well, the book value of the car is this or the book value of the car is that. Well, however, the book value of the car doesn't take into effect that this car is garaged at home and garaged at work. It is so impeccable inside here. Everything is in place. There's plenty of room for soft storage luggage, right? And uh, a CD changer is right here for the navigation. Sorry, CD changer and the navigation, right? Both options on this car are in there. Battery is right there, okay? Everything's easy to get to. Uh, all your stuff is there. And if you get stuck in here, this is kind of fun, still even has a handle, which was mandatory back in the day. So if you get stuck in the front, you can still get out. Seems funny, but wouldn't be funny if you were in there, however. So when you close the hood, because these are so light, you don't want to slam the hood, right? Here's how you close the hood on a 911, is you just let it drop. And I use the emblem, so I don't get handprints on the hood. And I close it the rest of the way. All right, so what's going on back here, right? What's going on back here is we have a speed activated rear wing. You need this. The cars that are over 160 mile an hour cars need the back push down. One amazing thing about a 911 is if you look underneath of it, it's completely flat. You say, well, why is it completely flat underneath or why is that a big deal? Well, because the less turbulence that's going on underneath of a car, the more planted it is on the ground. For instance, that's why you see like race cars with huge spoilers all the way almost touching the ground in the front to keep the air from getting underneath the car. When the gear gets underneath the car, it starts to lift the car and it doesn't handle as well. They eliminate a lot of that by adding this rear wing, making it flat underneath, and a lot of power and things like that. The reason they handle so well and the reason they have such great power, especially coming out of corners, is because the engine is over the driving wheels, right? And so just like uh, just like a front wheel drive car is so great in the bad weather, these are so great in any weather because 
as you're coming out of the corner, the wheels are digging in because all this weight's over there. Underneath here are some things that you look at and to me that says like this is a better car than others. The VIN sticker is still here. It hasn't been in a rear end collision and this has been replaced. It's the call out right here for the 3.8 liter engine because this is an S model. It gets a larger engine, right? I love the sound of this place. Always great cars and everything going on around here. And look how clean and detailed everything is here. This has the upgraded LED taillights on it, right? Lastly, real quick before you guys go, is this is a hard part of the convertible top. So when it's up, uh, because they're high speed cars, you don't get that buffeting sound and things like that. And also built in here are roll bars. If the car was to tilt either way or start to spin, these roll bars pop up, right? And then uh, the occupants are safer in here because you have a roll bar system to protect everybody. All right, so you're going to get the look every time you walk up to the car, right? And because it's a great looking car, you love that, I love that, whatever. But however, you're going to spend most of your time inside, right? This is an important part of this car that's different than maybe many other sports cars, and that is the simple fact that big, tall people can drive these cars and other cars we cannot fit in, right? Here's a perfect example. Why? Because the floor is flat. There's no engine, no drivetrain tunnel, all that stuff that has to go through the center of the car because everything's behind me. I'm 6'1", I can barely reach the pedals with the seat all the way back. So it gives you an idea of how much room really is in this car. And it's super modern in here, right? It's got a great looking three spoke wheel here, full gauge with that big tack right in front of your face, 8,000 RPM tachometer, also has uh, the upgraded uh, digital sound system, climate control, this has sport package uh, with the suspension and the exhaust, right? All that stuff is in here, sport chrono package package uh, as well. Little things that people don't know about like real world stuff like cup holders man. 180 mile an hour cup holders. How are you doing? Right? And a functional interior. These are sport seats so they're the more expensive seats but they're also power. So those are all options. This has a full leather interior. Another option where the dash is leather, uh, the door panels are covered in leather, the seats are all covered in leather, the back part there is all covered in leather. This is a loaded, loaded up car. We're talking cars that are uh, $150,000 in today's dollars. This is really, really an amazing piece. All right, so we close up this video and we talk about some things real quick. This is an S chassis car, not just a Carrera S, S chassis car, right? The chassis is different. I've driven this car, it's very different. This has uh, spacers that have been put on it to push the wheels out a little bit to the edges and make it look a little bit nicer. This Carrera S on the side is a nice call out. It's a decal, you can take it off if you don't like it, no big deal. But what we're really talking about is the options and color combination, low mileage, and the way this car was taken care of is exactly Exactly why you want to buy a car like this, right? From the full leather interior to power windows and keyless entry and upgraded audio and navigation, like sport mode, sport chrono, like all of these things add up to make a fabulous car. It's exactly how you'd order it from the factory if you were checking off the boxes circa 2005 and why I love these things so much. So if you've never owned one, it's incredible. If you've owned a 911, you've never owned an S, it's a very different animal with the bigger engine and the chassis and things like that. It is super, super cool. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, 911 Cabriolet S, right? And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down there below. Like the video, it helps us out as well. Subscribe to the channel. We've got new stuff coming out all the time. If you want to share it with your friends, I think they would like it too. And I'll see you on the test drive.